All three of the Democrat witnesses here today support and advocate for what they say is unrestricted abortion on demand. Let me ask Dr. Robinson. I could go to any of them, but you're the medical doctor. Based on your website and your testimony today, you clearly support the right to abort a 20-week-old unborn child. So I would love for you to explain to us, in your medical opinion, at what point in pregnancy should having an abortion no longer be an option? Thank you for the question. As a medical doctor, I understand that every pregnancy is unique and different. I also understand that patients need to have access to care, pregnant people, as the pregnancy progresses, and that may be for various reasons. Okay, let me ask so you, do, do, let me ask you, do you support the right of a woman who is just seconds away from birthing a healthy child to have an abortion? I think that the question that you're asking, asking does not realistically reflect abortion care. In that in scenario, the would, you su would you support her right to abort that child? I won't entertain theoreticals. It's not a theoretical, ma'am. You're a medical doctor. I am a medical doctor, and that has never happened. Never happened in your care. practice, ma'am, but it, it happens. How about if a child is halfway out of the birth canal? Is an abortion permissible then? Can you repeat your question? If a child is halfway delivered out of the birth canal, is it permissible to have an abortion? Would you support the right for an abortion then? I can't even fathom that ever. And I'm not asking you if you can fathom it. If it occurred, would you support that abortion or not? That's unrestricted abortion, right? That's a question that I can't imagine. I, just like you probably can't imagine what you would do if your daughter was raped. If it hasn't happened, it may be okay. difficult for you. You're not going to answer this question, but how about this one? How does one qualify as fully human? What makes a human being? What makes a person a human being That's is right. them being born, number one. That's why wow. we have birthdays. And then also their individual DNA, them having autonomy, being able to act and think. Okay, but, but wait a minute. A newborn child lacks the immediate capacity. The a, a newborn child lacks the immediate capacity to make conscious, deliberate choices. So is infanticide okay? I think what we're here to talk about is abortion care. What you're describing is something that is already illegal, and there are laws on the books for that. So I'm not a proponent. But of see, you understand if Dobbs, if Dobbs is handed down, the states will be able to make that decision, and there are some that will go that far. You need to be aware of what we're talking about today. I'm out of time. I yield back. There are laws on the books gentleman's for that. The gentleman's time has expired. The witness may answer the question. I'm sorry? I said the gentleman's time has expired. The witness may answer the question. Okay. Um, in the instance that he's describing, there are already laws on the books for that. Those are criminal acts, and so I'm not a proponent of any additional restrictions on people being able to access abortion care. I'm a proponent of us just um, enforcing the laws that are already on the books. But what if the law has right, changed you, to allow you, for that? The gentleman's time has expired. Dr. Robinson, I asked you earlier how one qualifies as being fully human, and you responded by saying that no one becomes a human or, or that someone does become a human at the moment of birth. And I, I found that absolutely stunning since you are not a political activist or an advocate, but you present yourself and purport to be a medical doctor. Your answers deny the plain truth of science and medical technology that anyone can see and understand, even if they don't have a medical degree. Obviously, I don't need to cite volumes of medical journals to prove the fact that an unborn child is a human being. As the Life Training Institute summarizes, quote, from the earliest stages of development, the unborn are distinct, living, and whole human beings. They are not mere parts of larger human beings, like skin cells are, but whole human entities capable of directing their own internal growth and development. This is not just a religious view, but a matter of, of the science of embryology. In its 1859 report on criminal abortion, the American Medical Association, Medical Association no less, acknowledged that, quote, the independent and actual existence of the child before birth as a living being was a scientific truth. Nothing has changed since that time. For more than 150 years, doctors have known that life begins at conception. A 1981 report to the United, United States Senate states, quote, physicians, biologists, and other scientists agree that conception marks the beginning of the life of a human being, and a being that is alive is a member of the human species. There is overwhelming agreement on this point in countless medical, biological, and scientific writings, unquote. So there's a picture up here. This, this is not a mere clump of cells. This is not uh, an animal or some unknown species. Ma'am, that's a human being. And all of you here are confusing human value with human function. You're defining personhood by what somebody does rather than what they are. Scott Klusendorf summarized it this way. He said, although human beings differ immensely with respect to talents, accomplishments, and degrees of development, 
They are nonetheless equal because they share a common human nature. Humans have value simply because they are human. And if you deny this, it's difficult to say why objective human rights should apply to anyone. As I noted earlier, it is a self-evident truth that all human beings are made by their creator and endowed by him with certain inalienable rights. The first listed in our declaration is the right to life. Since the medical doctor here uh, wants to deny the facts and reality, let me ask the abortion advocate, Ms. Arambide, to answer my questions on this subject. Ma'am, you testified that you are, quote, unapologetic in seeking unrestricted abortion access. So I'm wondering, at what point is it not okay to abort a child? What, what age of gestation? I trust all people to determine what they can and can't do with their bodies, full stop. Okay. I also believe that human rights, um, including access to the medical care, medical care that they need within their communities, is something that should be afforded everyone. Great. Okay, so you, you support late-term abortion? I support all people and trust That means late-term abortion. Do you support partial birth abortion? In other words, the child is half-delivered, and then the woman says... My right, I want to take that one out. You support that? I trust people to make decisions about wow. the body. Wow, okay. What, what about, um, so, so abortion should be allowed then, by your definition, for any reason, for any purpose, at any stage, right? I trust people to make decisions about their body, and then when relevant, I think that they need to consult their medical p practitioners okay. and not is, Congress. If it is, listen, let me just ask you this question. If it is not lawful and morally acceptable to take the life of a 10-year-old child, I assume you agree with that, right? That would be wrong, correct? I believe that Okay, that is and wrong. a two-year-old child, same thing, that would be murder, we would all agree that's wrong. Then what is the principal distinction between the human being that is two years old, or nine months old, or one week old, or an hour old, than one that is eight inches further up the birth canal in the utero? What, what's the difference? Why is it okay in the latter case and not the former cases? I trust people to determine what to do with their own bodies. Wow. Full stop. Wow. Full stop indeed. And that describes right there exactly what this is about. There's a legal issue here, but un underneath that is a moral issue. It's about reality. It's about science, the advancement of medical technology. You're talking about unborn children. And your, your full stop is that you will support the termination of that child at any time. And that is frightening. And that is why... This decision should be turned to the popular will of the people, and hopefully they'll protect the sanctity of every single human life and live up to the standards of our Declaration of Independence. I yield back.